biohacking your health span means. Right, starting with biohacking, it's all about using the latest scientific and evidence-based technologies okay. and ingredients to add healthy years to your life. So we've heard about longevity. We all want to live longer. Oh, yeah. But living longer in optimal health is health span. Yes. So biohacking your health span, you're all little tips and tricks as, as to how do we add healthy years to your life, Trace. Okay, so do we do that by wearing a camera on our chest? <laughs> is I, that well, part of it? You're going to see all about this. I'm gonna, it's all about getting down to my skinny dad years to my life, and that's coming up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we will be see. staying tuned. Yeah. Let's start with this big light you've got at the end of the table. What is that, It's Infrared do? light. It's all the rage. Okay. So we're, it's, it's a big term, follow me here, photobiomodulation. Don't have to remember that. Right. But we're like kind of like plants. Yeah. So photosynthesis, the sun rays rays go into plants and plants grow. Yeah. When these rays, infrared rays, deep and, and far infrared rays go into our skin, yeah. it turns on our mitochondria, okay. which actually fuels our cells for energy, the, the equivalent of energy or ATP. Well, give me some of that now, stuff. Now, here's, another, here's a really cool one here, yellow. Okay. Yellow, when you hang this up, you could be doing your makeup mm. or looking you know, at your Feels beautiful good. self in the mirror in the morning. Yeah. Yellow is actually gonna increase collagen okay. and reduce wrinkles, anti-aging. So this true light it's here. It's not a bad light. Oh no, it's a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> never, never but, mind. but adding years to your li uh, life through light technologies, far infrared uh, and uh, yellow light. How long a day? Like, do you, you do know, that every day for a few minutes? 10 minutes, that's all you really need. 10 okay. minutes while you're in the sauna or putting on your makeup in the washer in the morning. Beautiful, yep. next up we're hearing so much about mushrooms, all sorts of mushrooms. Right. Walk us through the ones we want to be having and why, why are they such a big deal all of a sudden? Right, really they're all the rage in the yeah. last couple of years and there's a good reason for that. They will add healthy years to your life. And okay. we know this through centenarian projects, people that eat a lot of these in Asian uh, countries yeah. primarily. But here's the deal, these button mushrooms, white mushrooms, portobello, cremony, there's really no health benefits. Use them in your culinary oh. experience. They're wonderfully taste great. But yeah. it's all these other Asian mushrooms. You may have heard of lion's mane. They look this so This stuff cool. is amazing for cognitive benefits. Yeah. So adding years to your brain. We call this brain span. All right. all right. So adding good, healthy years. We want to live long and well, but with optimal cognitive function. Good right. brain health. Lion's mane. Look into that. Shiitake and nucky mushrooms. You've heard about that. Mm -hmm. Long term, again, polysaccharides. Okay. A certain type of carbohydrate chain that adds good immune system function. But here's the latest find when it comes to mushrooms. Tremella. Yeah. Tremella. Tremella. This stuff looks like a loofah. Tremella has been used for this. thousands of years in ancient Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine. You can purchase them as powders found in uh, spas uh, and all over the place. So okay. this powder, you add this to your shake, mm -hmm. and ultimately it's going to increase hydration, that's from the mushroom, okay. and reduce skin wrinkling. So it's adding a uh, healthy, youthful glow yeah. uh, to your skin. You all just right? sold so, those out right now with that <laughs> sentence. Gut glow, by the way, and we'll get into probiotics. Yeah. Gut glow, the idea is that it's increasing the glow within your gut and your gut's like inverted skin. Yeah. And so when you make a healthy gut, you're making a healthy skin. So tremella oh, mushrooms. I want my gut to glow. Yes, I right? I think that's great. Right. Poop good, look good. Right? It's all Poop about. good, look good. So, all right, let's talk about uh, probiotics. What probiotics. do we need to know? So fermented foods, that's all well and good. We should be eating more of them. Apple yeah. cider vinegar, kefir, a mm -hmm. little bit of soy sauce, maybe kimchi. Those are wonderful things. But a really cool company in Italy, this yes. is the latest find, discovered a probiotic that yeah. was cultured out of centenarians, okay. people that live beyond 100 years old, just outside of Verona, Italy. Right. And they culture this called Bifidobacterium longum. Okay. DLBL, that, it's found in all kinds of different probiotics on the market today. So you yeah. look for this ingredient on your product, okay. it will add years to your life per the scientific literature. So when you take this good probiotic, and by the way, really cool, interesting um, uh, research about these people that live beyond 100. Yeah. Normally this good bacteria doesn't exist beyond two years of age, uh, and yet it stayed in these people up to the age of 100 and beyond. I, we don't necessarily- Do you think maybe they're just living a better life than us? I think so, I think right? that's a lot to do with it. Like maybe it's slower, maybe they're eating better food, there could be so many things. It's a things. whole combination, it's never one thing, it's combining yeah. a lot of things uh, into your lifestyle Very well. cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's move right along now. We're going to talk about muscle mass, uh, which is very interesting and a big predictor, you're saying, of a long, healthy life. Huge predictor, maintaining muscle mass. You know yeah. what? You know, the frailty. This is muscle. Frailty kills more of us than cancer, diabetes, and heart disease combined. I did not That's know that. That's the loss of muscle mass. You want to maintain that. Yeah. Another long term, don't have to remember this, but you want to yeah. look for HMB or beta hydroxy beta methyl butyrate. Okay. <laughs> so look for sure, my that just HMB. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. My HMB is found in a lot of different uh, concoctions around there in the health food stores. Okay. This is called a dynamometer. Yeah. If I squeeze this as hard as I can, mm -hmm. if I've actually put it on, I have to put it on first, uh, this is basically judging grip strength. Oh yeah, we so can see it. So there is a normal yeah. for men, 
and a normal for women. Yeah. 131, perfect. So I should be higher than 72. Oh, that's you're strong. per square that, inch, right? Can I do uh, it? So that's going to predict. It's always, yeah, go ahead. It's always, it's always normal for age gender, right? Yeah. So hold it uh, perpendicular, just like that, perfect. And uh, you should be higher, which I know oh, you will sorry, be. Oh, sorry, Meg, can you see that? Oh, easily. She should be higher than 42. Round of applause. What is it? Yeah, you can let go. You can oh, let go. Okay, you, right. you, you blew it away. Okay. 81, Ooh. come on. That's actually, that's beyond your age for men, Trace. It's got to be the spinach. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, nice good biceps. stuff. Maintaining muscle mass, that's what it's all about. HMB, the scientific literature shows yeah. that that's going to help to maintain muscle mass. It's der derivative of leucine. It's okay. a naturally occurring amino acid in our diet, but we can't get enough of it yeah. out of our diet. So the find, the biohacking find is HMB. The other thing, okay. lastly, DNA. Looking at yes. your DNA for hormones, yeah. longevity, um, detoxification ability, all these yeah. different things predict your lifespan. This is easy enough to do these days. It's become very, very inexpensive to test your hormones, to test your DNA, yeah. and to look at your longevity. Fox03 is a gene that predicts your longevity. Okay, your and DNA. is it worth it? Because if you figure it out, then you can fix it. It's all about what biohacking tools yeah. do you then use with that yeah. information. Absolutely. Now, we got to talk about the get-up, because you don't usually come here in a bathrobe? I didn't know if maybe it was just a more casual day for you or we have something else we need to talk about. Something else we have to go outside to do. You don't have to go outside to do this, but we're okay. going to go outside to do that. All right, I'm going to take this off. Yes, and let's head outside. All right. Let's go. All right. You know, this uh, next longevity hack is all about uh, living longer through resilience, Tracy. So we're heading out into the cold right now. Uh, got a surprise for you here. Uh, centenarians, people that live beyond 100, uh, are all about doing things that stress their body a little bit. Coldilocks formula, not too much, not too little, just the right amount of stress. Um, and when you survive that stress, your body's that much stronger uh, to live through the stresses that life brings you. Okay, so just pause for a second. I will do some talking while you get ready to do what you need to do. So I had a feeling it had something to do with this. This is about stressing your body out. This is stressing me out right now. Okay, so this is an ice bath. I'm going to give you that because I don't need it. Um, oh, how long do you usually stay in there for? A couple of minutes is all it takes every single day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got to be in the negatives here. Lots of ice to play around with. It was studied for uh, arthritis originally. The studies are very good for reducing inflammation, yeah. getting the body uh, increased resilience is what the, t the key is here for. And now they're seeing that it turns on, you can hear me panting, yeah. normally I'd be doing my Wim Hof breathing techniques, but it turns on longevity genes. So whereas I am freezing, yeah. by the way, I love this culture uh, tub here because it's portable, bring this anywhere to your, 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 um, your cottage or out back or inside, uh, but uh, we should be doing this a couple of minutes every single day. My body is currently numb, yeah. my heart is racing. But I Who shouldn't do this? Who should not do this? Very good point. So if you have a heart disease or, you know, always speak to your doctor or healthcare provider before doing anything serious like this. Um, and have somebody by your side uh, if you're unsure of your limits or ability to do this kind of thing. I'm by your side, but he could probably literally do this all morning long. Let's go to break. We have more coming.